Hi guys, welcome back to Muslim News Pleasures. Uh, I'm back with Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I actually did not react to episode 2 last week um, and today episode 3 dropped. I was actually busy with some work and then by the time I got free, I figured that I would as well, I might as well sort of react to both episode 2 and 3 on the same day because, I mean, why not? And so yeah, so I am going to react to both the episodes today and both of them should be out on the channel. If the video doesn't get blocked by today, if not, then by Sunday, I'm guessing. Uh, not really sure of, that, sure of what's going to happen there. Uh, but yeah, so it has essentially been two weeks since I watched the first episode. And the first episode was really good. So I am excited to sort of delve into this world. Um, I mean, first episode, we sort of had the two main characters sort of not even meeting each other uh, but then it was sort of like a setup to the fact that they're going to meet each other and they're going to sort of work together as a team and stuff like that uh falcon had his whole whole thing with his family there was the loan issues that his sister was facing some money troubles basically and then he also had a sort of mission somewhere i'm not really sure of where that mission was there was a there was the first 10 or 15 minutes of the episode which was sort of <coughs> excuse me which was sort of focused on on that mission and there was he rescued somebody i think his name was something like Vashon or something um and then uh his friend torres right his name was torres that guy was surveilling somebody and then he got beat up and there was this really powerful guy like sort of you know seemed like he was more powerful than a human can be sort of thing i'm not really sure of the specifics here but then i do remember vaguely a lot of things and if i, if I do watch this episode i'll probably be able to remember a lot more it's stuff like names at least and then uh we had Towards the end of the episode, we had Captain America. Oh, well, not Captain America, but then a guy who is chosen to be the next Captain America. Um, I mean, yeah, that was something that was going to happen anyways, wasn't it? Like, in terms of, like, uh, Falcon not accepting that field, it, was a, it wasn't the greatest decision, especially the fact that he sort of trusted him to continue the mantle or take on the mantle but then he was sort of not ready for it or like typical tv show trope basically uh but with uh bucky bucky there was interesting like he is friends with a guy an old guy whose son he killed back you know when he was the winter soldier and and then he has also been taking therapy like he has not been able to sleep well and stuff and then there were, there were i remember there were like three rules that he had to follow like you know he has to make amends and then he had to smile like something i don't really remember the three clues what they were but then yeah that's something that i do remember um and then there was a date with this uh you know girl from like their restaurant or something uh basically the first episode was uh, really good and i'm sort of interested to see where the show is going so without waiting further let's go episode two of falcon and the winter soldier Wait, is this the guy who is the new Captain America? And what is JW10? Um, the Marvel Studios sort of intro without the Marvel theme is a bit, a bit weird, honestly. The JW10 is John Walker, right? Okay. 
I mean, this is, this is uh, a very weird start to the episode. I can't believe I'm watching this. And start majestically waving in the wind. And have tested off the charts in every measurable category. Speed, endurance, intelligence. Look, here's the thing. Uh, I'm, I'm not Tony Stark. I'm not Dr. Banner. Okay, I don't have... Wait a second. I mean, if... I mean, that was a bit weird, right? Like, the... Ending the last episode, I don't know exactly what I said, but then most of the things that I felt was like, you know, most from the perspective of Falcon and like Bucky. I even remember saying something like, you know what, uh, Bucky sort of is more suitable for the shield than Falcon. But then the fact of the matter is, the, the resume that this guy happens to have, if you think about it, is probably better than what the Falcon has as, you know, without the Falcon, but then, you know, the guy in general. Even he was in the forces, right, or something. So, as resume is good, this guy doesn't have a bad one. And I am sort of... I, I'm doing everything to buy into this concept. And for now, it has been a good start. Unless this guy turns out to be a bad guy or, like, secretly working for Hydra or some shit. Or even for, like, the... Uh, there was a group mentioned last episode, right? Like, uh, Flag Smashers or something. Even if this guy turns out to be something like that, that's going to be bad. But then otherwise, I feel like I I'm sort of buying into this and it's surprising for me too. But then it's weird. I can't believe this is happening. I, have, I don't have the flashiest gadgets. I don't have super strength. But what I do have is guts. As an editor, uh, I, I like to think that I model my work after him. So you've always wanted to be a hero. I liked that what I was doing. He's saying the right things too. And this is the sort of thing i am this is shocking i mean these guys are not going to warm up to him but then i am shocked that i am warming up to him i have a feeling they might be a part of the big three what's the big three the big three what big three androids aliens and wizards what no, what? It's not. Every time we fight, we fight one of the three. So who are you fighting now, Gandalf? Every time we fight Gandalf. <laughs> right. so what? Point, no, I don't. There are no wizards. Doctor Strange is a sorcerer. <laughs> a sorcerer is a wizard without a hat. What? <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> How did this conversation turn into this? Look, look, that's not the point. These guys aren't magical. All right. What's going on? Found the hostage. I'm, I have a feeling she is not a hostage. You okay? Uh, this is Bucky. Oh boy. But Falcon doesn't have any strength, like he's just a normal human. With a bit of fighting skills, I guess. Oh, the cat saves. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Here I get it, Bucky. And I'm, I'm not trying to be Steve. I'm not trying to replace Steve. He is actually saying the right things. And the thing is, I mean, Bucky has nothing to complain here. Sorry. The Falcon, because that guy was literally given the opportunity and the sort of responsibility of the shield, and he just sort of like, you know, went, yeah, you know what, I'm not gonna do it. So they just chose a guy to do it, and he can't be upset about it right now. So, I cast one minute my side. It's always that last line. There is some. Okay. He said he wants to see for himself. Isaiah, look at you. This is um, Sam. Sam, this is Isaiah. He was a hero. Oh. One of the ones that Hydra feared the most, like Steve. What? Wait, what? Letter 51. If I met you here, I whooped your ass. Then, yeah, me. 
I don't even know how. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. <laughs> They did to me for being a hero. They put my ass in jail for 30 years. People running tests. Um. Blood. Come and get to my cell. Even your people weren't done with me. I say it. Get out of my house! Oh boy. Okay. Wait, so this guy was a super soldier. How could nobody bring him up? I asked you a question, Bucky. I know. Steve didn't know about him? He didn't. I didn't tell him. So you're telling me that there was a black super soldier decades ago and nobody knew about him? Hey! What's up, man? Is there a problem here? No, we just talked. We're fine. Did I see your ID? I don't have ID. Yeah, Why? Hey, just search. Just calm down. I am calm. What do you want? We're just standing here just talking. Just give him your ID. No, so I'm not giving him shit. Here. We're just talking. Hey, hey, look. Does this guy bother no, me? No, he's not bothering me. Do you know who this is? Oh, they're dealing. Oh, shit. This is bad. Oh, God. Oh, this is bad. So oh, this is even worse. I'm this is even worse. <laughs> wow. Just wait here, okay? I mean, I, okay, this is, wow, this is, this is bad. Like, I mean, I don't have any words, honestly, like, honestly. I, there was a joke, like, this guy made with a kid, like, few minutes before, where, you know, he was like, I do the Black Falcon, and he was like, you know, Black. It was like even jokes there. I was like, okay, fine. But the fact that there was a black super soldier and the guy was in jail for 30 years is yeah, that, that that's that's bad in the first place. And the the scene that just happened, like I've I've seen this happen, and you know some TV show sort of addressed it slightly, and like you know, but. Yeah, this is bad. And the fact of the matter is like, like this guy was treated, you know, um, and like they were asking Bucky as if he was bothering him, like, what the hell? But then the moment they found out that he was an Avenger, their whole sort of perspective changed. And that's even worse. And like, which means that if the guy was just a random guy, then, they wouldn't have sort of changed their thought process. So, I mean, yeah, this is, this is horrible. I didn't, I didn't tell anybody because he would already been thrown out. Are they in a different country? Like, like Bucky's uh wait are they in a different country because I thought that they were in UK for some reason but I'm guessing they probably aren't like I don't know I'm sort of confused right now so like if they are in a different country then this whole sort of pardon that Bucky got does that sort of transcend all borders and stuff like is that for like the whole world or something like how does that work Wait, what did, life did they just end up in a couple of with a miracle question. I'm so Ooh. sorry. Not. Okay, it goes like this. Wait, what are you doing? Are you having staring contest? <laughs> just blink, sweet Jesus. All right, James, why does Sam aggravate you? And don't say something childish. Wow. 
Why don't you give up that shield? Why are you making such a big deal out of something that has nothing to it do with It has everything to do with Sam. Steve should have given Bucky the shield. At least that's what I think that Bucky us. thinks. That shield, that is, that is everything he stood for. That is his legacy. He gave you that shield and you threw it away like it was nothing. So maybe he was wrong about you. And if he was wrong about you, then he was wrong about me. Yeah, I knew this was coming. Bucky thinks he should have given the shield to Bucky and not Falcon. So it wouldn't make sense for us to work with you. A word of advice then. Stay the hell out of my way. I know what we have to do. When Isaiah said my people. Ah, uh, don't take that to heart. That's not what he meant. No, he meant Hydra. Hydra used to be my people. <sighs> not a chance. Walker doesn't have any leads. I know where you're going with this, and no. He knows all of Hydra's secrets. Don't you remember Siberia? So you're just gonna go sit in a room with this guy? Mm, yes. What guy? Okay, then. Wait, like, I'm having a lot of confusion about this episode now, suddenly. There have been a few questions. Wait, what? Zemo, that's the guy who was in Civil War, right? Okay. I think that was a very good episode, and... Oh. Now, yeah, I mean, that was a very good episode and sort of, you know, I would have been extremely excited for today's episode if I had watched this last week because, you know, I wouldn't have been able to wait. I mean, of course, I don't have to wait anymore. I'll probably watch it like 10 minutes or 15 minutes or something like that. Um, I mean, okay. So the thing is, it was a very good episode, but then it had a weird start and sort of, confused me at different places. I don't know if I wasn't following it properly or was it just a case of me mixing up my geography and stuff. Uh, like the thing is, the episode began with this whole John Walker thing, right? And in the beginning I was like, you know, this is a good guy and he is, he has a resume for it. And then, you know, it's essentially Falcon's fault that he did not accept to be Captain America. And he could have been, but then he didn't, and here we are, really. Uh, and then the whole uh, sort of, the weird part for me began when suddenly Bucky and Falcon met. And this is the, one of my confusing, confusing point now, points now, after I watched the whole episode. So did Bucky and Falcon know, or I should start probably calling them Bucky and Sam. So did Bucky and Sam know where, they, where each of them were? And they just, you know, chose not to meet in the first episode and then they suddenly met. Like, or was it just a case of Bucky just found where Sam was? So, that was one thing, uh, which did not really make some sense to me, sort of felt sudden. But then, you know, let's just go with it, because why not? Uh, and then there was a fight scene and suddenly this Captain America guy showed up, John Walker. And then there was this confrontation and stuff. And... That was fine, everything was going well, and then they... Then Sam was like, you need to meet somebody. And then they showed this place called Baltimore. I was under the impression that Baltimore was in the UK. Maybe I was wrong, I'm not really sure anymore. But then they went to that place and they met with Isaiah. And then even the way, I mean, before that actually, if I'm not mistaken, we saw the flag smasher people. Like, uh, I mean, the lady was definitely British, and I don't know about the whole group, but then I'll talk about the flag smashers later. So, like, Bucky went, I mean, they went to Baltimore, and they met with Isaiah, and, like, Isaiah was talking about how in 1951 he picked his ass, and, like, he said stuff like this, and then uh, 
he also mentioned something about your people. Of course, at the time I knew that it was Hydra and like stuff. But then, what sort of felt weird was that why was this guy in UK? But then that's where I got the confusion: is Baltimore in US or is it in UK? And and then of course I really got angry and like stuff went down and they went and they came out. And then there was the police and they were like they are the Avengers and. But then they arrested Bucky for missing an appointment. So was this all of it in US? Because I was under the impression that you know he was pardoned by the US government, and like he had to take therapy, and that's a rule. That's something that is said by the US government. So if he doesn't follow it, then the US government will be the one that's catching him. For some reason, I thought it was in UK, but then you know what? I mean, I will just Google this thing right away because it's sort of making the whole lot of things. And at the yeah, at the moment, I have a feeling that Baltimore is actually in US. Yeah, it's in bloody US. Okay, so this is in US. Okay, fine. Now that now a lot of things make sense. Okay, so. Okay, now most of the things make sense, uh, but then, the, I mean, I guess my confusing point was the fact that a lot of these groups seem, seem to be talking of Central Europe, and so these people went and fought people in Central Europe, didn't they? And they came back to US, and yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. But then, why are they bothered about people in Central Europe, like? What's their deal? Like, I mean, I thought that Sam was working with like Air Force or something, right? So what's he doing in Central Europe? That's, I mean, I think I should just watch the first episode again sometime later because, I mean, the Taurus guy is he was definitely European, and then they were talking something, and even the first episode, most of the things happened in Europe. So then, um, I sort of lost track of why Sam was in Europe in the first place, what he was doing there. Uh, especially the fact that he mentioned he was a freelancer and stuff. So, yeah, that's interesting. And then towards the end, like John Walker's guy seems suddenly to be like, you know, stay out of my way, which I guess makes sense. I mean, it's not suddenly I'm not going to go and hate on him. But then, but to be fair, right? I mean, uh, John Walker doesn't owe anything. He is like, I mean, I am Captain America now, like, I don't really care about what you do. Of course, I want us to team up, but then if you're going to go down your own route, then you should stay away from mine. I guess that sort of makes sense. Um, but then this, why this whole Central Europe thing, like, why is everybody focusing on this thing is not what I'm unable to understand. Maybe I will after the third episode, uh, but yeah, there was that. And then talking of the Flag Smashers in themselves, like, I sort of forgot, I think, to talk about this last episode. Uh, even they mentioned this in this episode and even in the last episode where there's like group of people who don't want any borders and I guess in this episode it sort of explained in a better way that they were like, you know, once people came back after the blip, people just started, everybody else started sort of, they literally stopped caring for the ones that never got blip. Uh, I mean, that's a bit dramatic, but then, you know, let's just go with that. And then, you know, but they live in a world which had half the population. So if you forget the fact that people died and like loads of people died, I'm guessing that the five years would have been much better in terms of pollution and, you know, politics, like a lot of things. I'm guessing it would have been better in certain ways that it's not like that anymore after the break. So I sort of understand this group and there's one more thing that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, this is what I was getting to. I forgot. Now I remember. So this group is there, right? So there's this text that a text that this lady got. She was like, you stole everything from me or something like that. So are there now three different set of groups? The one group, which is Captain America, his friend, Bucky and Sam, even though they are separated. They're just calling the good guys. So there is another group which is the flag smashers and it seems like there's a third group which 
has some enemy towards flag smashers. So yeah, this is another thing that confused me. Um, so if that's the case, like if I'm not mistaken, it was this third group which have an enemy towards flag smashers. They were the ones at the end of the episode, this one, where they shot this guy dead and like, because I'm sort of confused. It could have been uh, the government and stuff, but then yeah, I'm very confused right now. I think I should have, I think I should just watch some other reaction channels or something because I feel like I need somebody else's perspective on all of this. I am sort of confused now. Um, yeah. But then anyways, I mean, this was a good episode to be honest, like it had a lot of good things. It was very different from the first one. I mean, we did not really delve into anybody's personal life. Like Bucky had this sort of a date and like the old man friend. This guy had a sister and loans and stuff like that. This episode did not go into any of it. So that was interesting. Um, what else? There was something else. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I don't think there was anything else. Uh, yeah, very good episode. And this this CBC is just a six episodes, right? So we are almost, I mean, after today, we are halfway through the season. So, you know, there is just so much story to tell. Like, I, I guess you can't just focus on everything. Um, so yeah. That's all for this reaction. I'll probably make another one in an hour or maybe 10 to 10 minutes. I'm not really sure. But then yeah, I'll make it today. Thanks for watching. Bye.